Mary Brown, who has been courageously navigating the complexities of polygamy alongside her husband, Cody Brown, is taking a trip down memory lane to the catfishing scandal that once entangled her life. As we eagerly listen to her story, she also grants us a glimpse into the continual ebbs and flows of her connection with the patriarch of Sister Wives. As the intricate dynamics of their relationship continue to unfold on the popular reality series, Mary delves into a pivotal chapter from her past that still carries significance. The TV personality is well acquainted with controversy and is unafraid to clarify the record. In a recent episode of the TLC series, Sister Wives, the reality TV star took a moment to reflect on the controversy, disclosing that so much nonsense was fabricated about it. She openly acknowledged her involvement in a catfishing relationship in 2015, under the impression she was communicating with a man, only to later discover her online companion was, in fact, a woman. Without delving into specific details, Mary shared her story, revealing a mixture of exasperation and amusement as she remarked. So I was catfished quite a few years ago by a big fat liar. That whole story was so completely blown out of proportion and so much crap was made up about it. She noted further, and I still kind of have a hard time talking about it just because everybody has their opinions about it. But like, I know my truth. Even with our family, some of our own family has their own opinion about it. Due to her past experience, she became extra cautious when she connected with a gay interior designer named Blair online for business-related interactions. She humorously stated, We did meet online initially, but eventually in person. There are so many people, obviously, who put themselves out there as being somebody other than they really are. So you have to be very careful with people that you meet online. The catfishing episode just won among the multitude of challenges that Mary and Cody's relationship faced, further exacerbated the existing strains in their already delicate union. The entrepreneur initially shared her feelings regarding their relationship, recalling the moment when the 54-year-old Cody definitively conveyed, on their anniversary, that any prospect of reigniting their romantic bond had dissipated forever. Cody essentially informed me that he had no intentions of re-establishing a relationship with me and advised me not to hold out hope for it because it was beyond the realm of possibility. Mary revealed, her voice tinged with sorrow. Cody's unequivocal rejection left the 52-year-old Mary heartbroken, causing her to contemplate the significance of the three decades they had shared. Her emotions of frustration and disappointment were unmistakable as she vented her anger, expressing, To hell with him, he's not worth it. It's daunting to consider the possibility of a permanent separation. Truly, it is, because it's not what I had hoped for. I never wanted him to approach me and say, I truly don't want to have a relationship with you ever again. And yet, here we are. In a prior episode of the TLC series, another layer of the mother of one's intricate and emotional journey was revealed. She bared her soul about the dissolution of her marriage to Cody in a confessional, shedding light on the inner turmoil she was enduring. According to the star, breaking her vows to the family's patriarch was an agonizing decision, one that contradicted her deeply rooted principles. The business owner emphasized that ending their union was at odds with her values, as she had not married Cody and entered into an eternal covenant merely to casually walk away when things became challenging. She conveyed her uncertainty in dealing with the situation, acknowledging, at this moment, I don't know what to do about it. I have no idea what to do about it. Nevertheless, she remained resolute in her commitment to transparency. Mary refused the family patriarch's request to keep the details of their relationship private, asserting her right to narrate her own story. She also outlined two possible paths she envisioned for her relationship with Cody. I can either continue living as I have for the past eight years or so, which is to be an incredibly strong, independent individual officially married to someone but emotionally disconnected, right? Or, I can end it. I can take the necessary steps to move forward and bring closure to it. Robin, the star of Sister Wives, has brought herself to be perceived negatively in the reality TV industry. Her reputation has now changed, and she is now thought of as the main cause of the Brown family's breakup. Fans have often called out the celebrity, who has therefore faced criticism for a variety of reasons. Fans were shocked to learn that Robin was utilizing children to generate positive publicity for her brand in the midst of all of this. Even that she was exploiting the Brown children was alleged by some users. What exactly did they see, though? Is that accurate? Is Robin's actions truly her own? Robin has been criticized by Sister Wives fans on several occasions. Because she was the reason Christine, Janelle, and Mary left the family, she has faced criticism. 
Therefore, it is evident that the celebrity's image isn't favorable in the eyes of her audience. Robin appears to be working hard, nevertheless, to contain the damage and improve her reputation. Robin recently shocked everyone by hosting Truly, Christine's daughter, to her birthday party. Isabel and Mil Kelty also joined in the festivities as the latter celebrated turning 12. Following this episode, a Reddit discussion quickly emerged to debate the true motive of Robin's relocation. Robin was allegedly exploiting brown children as content, according to the original poster. It went on to highlight how she and Cody refused to let the cameras take many pictures of their children or their home. According to Chaucis, this led the audience to believe that maybe the pair was now utilizing Christine's ladies in order to maintain relevance for the program. Many of the sister wives' audience members accepted the idea. One of their fans said, They are in such a toxic situation. I noticed that, and that's on camera, said a second person. An additional explanation was given, saying that when Robin and Cody are with their children, there is typically no content. It seems like they always get their vaccinations when someone comes to visit. The majority of people believe Robin used Christine's daughter in the most recent episode because of this. Only two of Robin Brown's five children are shared with Cody, despite the sister wives' star having five children overall. The latter's biological children are Ariella and Solomon. It seems that before the celebrity and Cody were married, they were already married. So, Robin's prior marriage to David Preston is where Brianna Brown, Aurora Brown, and Dayton originate. Her three children were brought, and Cody even ended up divorcing Mary in order to adopt them officially. But viewers have a terrible feeling about these three children. Recently, a few viewers brought up the possibility that Robin's parenting style for her older children is seriously damaging. Someone clarified that the celebrity had taught her children that love is conditional and that their extended family had rejected them. Robin also prevented them from interacting with other brown children and removed them from the Christmas exchange tradition. The person also brought up Robin's separation from David and her request that her children call Cody their father. In the viewpoint of the audience, this was yet another horrifying feature. Amidst all of this, a number of rumors have stated that David is afflicted with a fatal illness and Robin has supposedly not told her elder children about this. Even some viewers have complained that Brianna and Aurora are never given the chance to speak their minds in public. Some astute watchers noticed that these two girls had begun to resemble their mother exactly in a recent confession. Thus, these are the explanations for why the public has begun to believe that Robin's original children aren't being raised properly.